The Duck with Cold Feet by Kenneth LaPointe Short Stories for Kids Today we have a book named The Duck with Cold Feet by Kenneth LaPointe Short Stories for Kids. I think they're so pretty. I hope you guys really enjoy it. I love it. Please give this video a like if you enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe for more stories. Thank you, reading. So, here we go. Wow! Wow! Ma! Mommy! Daddy! I don't want to go in that cold water. My feet will get cold. Basil's parents had heard the same thing over and over since he was just a baby duckling. For some reason, no matter how much they told him that his feet wouldn't get cold, he just didn't believe them. Of course, Basil loved splashing around in the water in the summertime when it was nice and warm, even in the fall too until the cold weather came, but in the winter when the snow was as white as a muscovy when the open water looked dark and freezing, he just wouldn't go in. I mean, there was even ice in the water. How cold is that? Look at all the other ducks splashing around in the water. They aren't complaining, are they? His mother asked him. Yes, but my feet are bare. I cannot go in that ice-cold water with bare feet, replied Basil. Yes, but so are the others, his mother quacked back. And we don't get cold feet, do we? Mommy, said Basil. All I know is my feet will get so cold it just die. So Basil had never swam with his friends or parents or any of his relatives when they were all out in big flocks in the water in the winter. No matter if it was a pond, a lake, or a river. He wouldn't even stick his big toe in to try it. Well, what are we going to do with Basil? His mom asked his dad. I don't know, replied Basil. But we need to do something soon or he's going to lose touch with the flock and they will abandon him. Mrs. Basil looked with worry at her husband. I'm sure there's something we can do. Let's ask the big geese or the big swan. Surely they've come across this problem before. So they had a big confab with all the geese and swans in their neighborhood. And the very next morning, Basil went swimming in the coldest water no person would ever want to go into. But Basil wasn't worried. For on his feet were the most beautiful presents he could ever ask for. Presents his parents had got him on advice from one big old Canada goose. Basil's feet were never cold from then on. And if you ever see a duck with thick woolen tartan socks and old army boots on his feet, Walking around in the winter, you can bet in the winter you can bet it. And even though his socks and shoes get mighty soaked, of course, paddling around out in the open water and standing in icy puddles, he still thinks his feet are warm all thanks to them. And that's all that matters. The End Good job, friends. Thank you so much for reading with me. Bye, I'll see you next time.